three correct. The, the first one says Paris and the the spring. Last one says there's two thes. Yeah, two thes <laughs> and two, two a's. Thes, and there's two a's. That's right. You see how easily you can be deceived? Can I show you another trick? Are you a good person? Sometimes. Let's see. Let's see how good you are. Okay. Have you ever told a lie? Yeah. What do you call people who tell lies? Uh, deceiver. Or, or liar, right? So what are you? A liar. Exactly. <laughs> Have you ever taken something that doesn't belong to you? Candy, an answer? Yes. What do you call people who steal? A thief. So what are you? A thief. You're a lying thief. Okay. Have your parents ever punished you? Yes. So by your admission, you're a liar, a thief, disobedient, and rebellious. Uh -huh. Is that a good person? Uh, in some people's eyes, yeah. <clears throat> So let's think about it this way. If you died today and God judged you, would you be innocent or guilty? I say in the middle. Well, let me ask you this. If I murder somebody only once, am I totally guilty? Am I totally innocent or in the middle? Well, if you're taking it that far, you have to have reasons, right? Well, murder. I murdered him for, for the money. Okay, so you're saying it like that. So what about the military people? They kill people. That's not, that's not murder. As long as they're doing it, this this just war doctrine, okay? You can kill somebody righteously, like killing a man who's about to murder a baby, right? Or killing people in an army trying to kill the Jews, right? So, you see, what I'm trying to show you is that we're all guilty. The Bible says there is no one good, not even one. The Bible says all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And I know you're just like me, you're human. We all need forgiveness. Do you know what God did for you to, because He loves you so He can forgive you? He came into the world, He put on humanity. He became fully God and fully human. I'm talking about Jesus Christ. He allowed Himself to be crucified on the cross. He was being punished, not for His sins, but for your sins. That's how much God loves you. What's your first name? Uh, Quan. Spell that? Q-U-A-N. Quan, okay. That sounds Chinese to me. So. God said, I love Quan so much, I'm not going to let him take the punishment that he deserves. I want to be punished for him. That's what Jesus was doing for you on the cross. Then after he was murdered on the cross for your sins, he rose again. But you need to respond to what he did in order for you to be forgiven. Do you know what you need to do on your side? Well, because I carry a Bible in my backpack. Okay. So you should know what, to, what you need to do to be forgiven. What do, what do you need to do? Because Jesus did his part. What do you need to do? Just live lives live uh, consciously about in his paradise live consciously. let me show you what Jesus said okay I'm gonna read Jesus words for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him whoever believes in Jesus should not perish but have everlasting life if you repent of your sins and believe in Jesus you can be forgiven and when you truly do that as Jesus describes you will be born again you will become a new person. The old Quan will die. A new Quan will come to life. You will live a new life, not because you're afraid, but because you're a new person. Jesus said you must be born again to see the kingdom of God. And he promises that if you truly repent of your sins and believe in Jesus, you will be born again. And you won't have to fear death. You won't have to fear hell. Heaven is yours because you're a child of God at that moment. That's for you. Let me ask you this. You didn't know how to go to heaven until I talked to you because I asked you and you didn't know how to give me the right answer. Do you believe the message I just shared with you? It's called the gospel. The Bible promises that those who believe the gospel can go to heaven. Can I pray for you to receive Jesus right here, right now? I'm going to ask you four questions and, and then see, make sure we're on the same page and then pray for you. Is that okay? Quan, do you acknowledge that you've sinned against God? Do you believe that Jesus died for you on the cross, paid the penalty for your sins? Do you, com uh, do you believe Jesus rose again on the third day after he died for you? Do you commit to believe and obey Jesus forever and ever? May I put my hand on your shoulder? Heavenly Father, Lord, would you please save Quan by the power of the gospel? Jesus Christ died for him, shed his blood for him. He just heard the gospel and understood it for the first time and believed it for the first time. Would you please save him? Turn him into a new creation as you've promised that all who are in Christ, he becomes a new creation. All things have passed away. All things have become new. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Listen, Quan, it really is that simple. 
If you truly made a commitment and you follow through to, to believe and obey Jesus, you're saved. But let me know, let me, I want you to know how you can know in the future whether you truly are saved. Only two things. You continue to believe the gospel that Jesus died for you. And two, you grow in holiness. You're sinning less and less. You're obeying God more and more. If you do, do those two things, you are saved. Believe the gospel. Continue to grow in holiness. And let me show you how you can start. Where are you staying? What city are you staying at? LA. LA? Do you have a church you're already going to? I want to show you the website for a church. Okay? It's not far from here. It's um, realityla.com. It's the first one. Okay? So, now here, I want, I want you to remember this easy to remember phrase so you know how to be a Christian. Read, pray, and obey every day. Read your Bible every day, pray to God every day, obey God every day, every single day. Okay? Hold on to my phone for a second. And I want to show you how you can get a hold of me. Okay? My email is right here. My name is Tony. My email is right there. If you scan that QR code, you start to email me on your phone.